Okay, you two friends, this is part eight of the Wheel Horse uh, A90 restoration series. Um, first of all, before I begin this video, I'd like to express my condolences to the families who lost fa uh, loved ones yesterday in Boston. And prayers go out to them, and prayers go out to those who were injured um, during that uh, horrible incident that happened yesterday. Um, to get on with this video, uh, there's what's happening is this is the uh, it's a 77 a 90 wheel horse um, and what's happening it runs fine it runs really well starts up right away uh, if you see in any of my uh, earlier videos you'll see how well it starts up even after sitting in cold weather for two months but uh, it's not moving and uh, there's a few possibilities why this can happen um, first of all uh, a friend of mine down south uh, who has a, a YouTube channel, Crazy for Wheel Horse. I want to give him a thank you and a shout. It's all capital letters in a numerical four. Um, he's told me that there's a possibility that um, the, um, the, the key can be shared in the, either the transmission pulley or the power takeoff pulley. Uh, I checked that out. Uh, you can see here, here's the transmission pulley, and uh, I don't think it's shared. I think it's it's fine. Uh, also, the um, power takeoff or the front pulley up there uh, connected to the engine, uh, that's, I started up the engine and then that works fine too. Uh, I would have done a video to show you, I don't know, show you that too, but it's gonna, it's kind of a dark day so it wouldn't show up really well. But I can assure you, I. Took a piece of plastic and uh, ran it against the pulley while it was rotating and uh, off the engine, and it, it was it was grinding it down. So there isn't a problem there. What could be a problem is, uh, and I want to rule up, rule this problem out, is the possibility that it's in the transmission. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I'm going to shift it through all gears and rotate the transmission pulley to see if it uh, spins the wheels. So what I did is I disconnected the belt and I jacked up the trailer a couple inches off the ground so you know, the wheels will be free from the ground and I'll go through the gears and we'll see if it, uh, if uh, I'll rotate the pulley and uh, see if those wheels move while I put it through the gears. There we go, that's in uh, what I believe is first gear. So that was second gear, that's third gear. There's reverse. And there's first gear. So um, it all works. Uh, I just put new uh, gear lube in it too, so um, that's, that. I, I could safely say for this video, that I'm ruling out the transmission's bad. Um, there's a couple things that could be wrong with it though. Um, one thing is I replaced the belt on Saturday and uh, I went by the size given in the manual and the belt may be the wrong size. I, you know, there's a possibility the manual's wrong or either, either that or someone put the wrong size belt in the, uh, in the container and uh, uh, I got the wrong size belt. It might be a little bit, just a little bit too big. The other possibility is uh, the pulleys. Uh, here is the clutch pulley right here. And I'm assuming this could be the culprit if I'm right. Um, what it is right now is there is this bushing here rotates on a bolt. So if that's the way Wheel Horse designed it, then that's probably not the problem. But if this is a pulley that had a, once had a bearing in it, or has a bearing in it, and the bearing is seized, this could definitely be the problem. Um, I don't see much wear on the, uh, the pulley, or any of the pulleys really. Um, the Eiler pulley, and there's a flat Eiler pulley in there, uh, that seems to be fine too, so I don't think that's the issue. So what I'm going to do is um, 
right, inspect this thing a little bit more and see where it might went wrong. Uh, maybe I routed the belt wrong. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, I went by a manual in there, but you know, it's uh, that manual could be for uh, three different tractors. It could be from the uh, A92 to 100 series, so I don't know. Uh, well, so that's it for now. Um, this is part eight. Uh, part nine will be coming around very, very soon. And uh, before then, uh, my next video I'll be doing some shout outs. Uh, I got some subscribers lately now that I'm doing videos again. And uh, I'd like to give them a shout out. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do very long videos right now because my uh, computer's in the shop doing it for some warranty work and I'm using my old XP which uh, is, is a lot slower so um, until chapter 9 or part 9 um, thanks for watching and please subscribe and I appreciate your comments and subscriptions too